Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new vlog. I couldn't not start this vlog right now here. I hope you can hear me okay over the wind. Um, well, the breeze actually. We're having the most beautiful day. It's Saturday and we're having a picnic. There's a field quite local to us that we love and it's completely just a grass field. Just no one around. And so we're having... What's my hair doing? <laughs> <laughs> Windblown? So we're having a gorgeous little picnic. I've just been to the shop. We've got corn cocktail sausages. We've got Pringles, melon, um, mozzarella tomato salad, salmon, got some eggs. I also got um, some olives and then some juice. And we've brought our blanket. This is just so nice. It's a good idea, right? Brilliant idea, babe. Thank you so much for suggesting it. Then we've got this beautiful boy. He's got his water and treats and his ball and therefore he is on top of the world right now. This ball is his biggest obsession. Look at that happy boy. Look at him. Bobo. Yeah, so having a wonderful Saturday. I didn't bring my vlog camera, which is why I'm on my phone, but I thought it was just such a lovely moment for the week, really. Sorry that I didn't vlog last week. Um, like I said in my previous video, my assumptions video, things have just been quite busy and I just there wasn't really anything that was vloggable, really. But this is prime vlog content. Lovely, wholesome picnic content. Good morning everybody. Welcome to a brand new week. I'm actually vlogging this week. Hallelujah. I feel like I actually have some things to show you this week, which is nice. It's a lovely Monday morning. It's a gorgeous week. We're having fantastic weather over here in England. I always feel like when I mention the weather, you follow a lot of UK YouTubers, so likely you've already heard the fact it's lovely weather right now. Oh, that's better. That's better. Yes, so yesterday I went and got my nails done and they're looking so beautiful. Let me just put a little bit of oil on them just so I can show you them in their prime. By the way, this is so, this is so good. I found this again recently in my stash of things. Like this drawer down here, I've mentioned before, this drawer here that I have, I organised it last night. I'll have to show you. This drawer, I keep like my most used things in it. I found this again and it's a C&D Solar Oil Moisturising Conditioning Nail and Cuticle Care Oil. Can you see that? Why is it not showing you? There we go. There we go. This is such like a handbag saviour. It's amazing just to have in your handbag. Honestly, if you've never tried putting oil on your cuticles like this before, the glow up difference. I mean, I mean you're not going to see much difference right now because I've just had them done. So my nails are still looking great, but these ones have oil on. These ones look a bit drier. But anyway, <laughs> these are my nails. Had them done yesterday. I went again to the Hot Blend. Alex at the Hot Blend. She very kindly fit me in on a Sunday because I'd booked in for next week and then realised that this week, which I'll be able to show you in this vlog, I have two photo shoots this week. Every photo shoot I've ever been on has always said, you need like beige, pink, blush, simple nails. So the beautiful butterfly prints that I had on my nails were not gonna fly, unfortunately. So I got in to the hot blend and she has perfected my nails. She is literally a nail perfectionist. So look how lovely and just simple, and they're getting longer and longer this builder gel applied, so it's super hard, my nails won't break, and then they can just grow and grow and grow back to being long again. I also was just say, in case any of you were like, why aren't you going to dry by anymore? Literally, the only reason is because I'm not really going into London much right now. Now that I no longer live in London, it's not quite as simple for me to get into London as often. Yeah, I'll be honest, the, the less I can go into London, the better for me, to be honest. Alex at the Hot Blend literally lives fairly fairly nearby to me. I can, I can actually drive to her studio, which for me shaves off about an hour and a half's worth of time getting into London. So it, at the moment, it is perfect for me. Um, it's, it, I'm very likely gonna be going back to drive-by from ever in London. I need my nails done urgently. I mean, I adore drive-by. I've been going there for four or five years. I'm still the biggest advocate for those guys. I, I love Christina who owns it. I love the girls, I love Karina. I miss my ladies. But it's literally just a case of efficiency and locality. That's literally it. And as soon as I found that, that Alex at the Hot Blend lived 
within a car distance away, I was like, that it kind of makes more sense for me right now. So I'm sure the ladies that drive by completely understand that I no longer live in Notting Hill. I can't just grab a 10 minute car drive to them if I need my nails done urgently. So, so that's the only reason why. I am getting ready that today I've just washed my hair because tomorrow I have a Dyson shoot. I'm doing like a Facebook live with Dyson. Let's just say I never do lives. I never, never do lives because they scare me a little bit. But I'm doing a live with the Dyson team and it's all about the corral. Little guy. As you probably know, it's my styler straightener of choice. I mean, there's, there's nothing better than it. So yeah, I'm going into London tomorrow to um, do this Facebook Live, which is quite exciting. So I have washed my hair today in anticipation of tomorrow. I'm just getting a few bits of jewelry ready for the day. A little bit, a little bit closer. Hopefully not staring at my boobs in this little top. So right, today's jewelry stack is gonna be my Edge of Ember collection. I mean, if I'm not wearing Edge of Ember, I'm wearing my Bulgari B0s usually, or I'm wearing Amelia's beautiful Raimi collection. I have my faves, but my Edge of Ember collection, I mean, I designed it myself, so it's gonna be my favorite collection. So I'm wearing my beautiful little A ring for Alex. Such a gorgeous little signet ring, and it's got these two little um, white sapphires either side. Um, I'm gonna wear that. Oh my gosh, just realized my wedding rings are downstairs. I tan last night, if you can't tell. And then Bo licked me at like half four in the morning. He was crying, so Alex brought him up, not realizing what time it was. But luckily, I don't think it's taken much off, but this morning I literally woke up with a full, like, bronzed face and this big lick mark. I don't think it's, it's not taken too much effect. Anyone else not tan as easy here? I don't tan that well here at all, but my arms look great. I use the Saint Tropez Ashley Graham, the kind of bronzy, glowy tan. It is amazing. It smells so good. It's by far the best tan. It's, it has an actual smell to it, so it overrides that biscuit smell. But anyway, so I'll go get my wedding rings in a minute. So I'm going to wear my silver Orion ring on my index. So I'll have my wedding ring here in a minute, so I'm wearing that and that. I'm gonna wear my other Orion in gold on my right hand. I forget, this finger's bigger. Yeah, I have this one in a bigger size. I didn't realize that my two indexes are different sizes. My right hand, which is my writing hand, not that I use it to write anymore, I mean. Okay, I'll swap over. So I've got gold on that hand that fits, and then I'm gonna put on silver onto this hand. This is one of my favorite pieces of, of jewelry that I own. I mean, I designed it so it literally looks like the Orion's Belt constellation because that's my absolute favorite constellation. Always has been since I've been a very, very young child. I'm sure you all know this. I've talked through everything before. And then I also have the Orion ear cuff again with the Orion constellation. This top one here being Betelgeuse. This is like, the, the size of this star is un infathomable, unfathomable, enormous. <laughs> a lot of people still ask me, I don't understand, they don't understand how these go on. So this has an opening here, see, has an opening. And all you have to do is, you pull out your ear like this, just to kind of flatten this section. Because you want to you wanna put this over the thinnest part of your ear. So you put it through, you kind of put it through like this. And then the idea is that you want it to grab onto this fatter bit here. So you kind of put it over this thin a bit, it can lodge in onto here, and that's literally it. That's not gonna go anywhere now. It's just sat inside of there in the fat a bit. And it just means that you don't have to have any ear piercings. You can move it around if you wanna have it a bit higher, a bit more here or whatever. But it's, yeah, I love it so much. Earrings today, I'm gonna go with my little, my beautiful little huggies. I made these just to be the most simple easily wearable little huggy hoops ever with the crushed gold metal. The crushed gold metal was one of the biggest things that I really wanted this collection. So we worked on a couple of different samples of it. So I was like, I, for some reason I just had it in my head, I was like, I just want this crushed gold effect. And then I'm going to wear the Nebula, the Nebula climber like that. And you just need to kind of play around it a little bit so that, you know, I really wish, with how close I am, like, hello, I really wish I put on some makeup, never mind. Yeah, all you have to do, just make sure that you get it into place of where you want it on your ear, so that looks perfect. And then just tighten it up, like really tighten up the back, the back of your ear, and it's not gonna go anywhere. And it'll just swoop up the ear like this. And then, where's my other cuff gone? My other ear cuff is not here. But if it was, <laughs> I would put my ear cuff on here and it makes this gorgeous like full, full stack. 
up to here. I love it, I love it. Um, I'll likely get my gold one and put that on that side. Not finished my hands yet, actually. I'm gonna wear my two, my two beautiful little Nova rings, one in gold, one in silver. I'm just gonna stack those together. I love stacking the two together. I always get a lot of people asking me about that, like, do you not mind stacking? different colours and I, I love it, I personally love it. And I'm just gonna wear the thicker band just here like that. So it's just a little, yeah, so it's just like a little triple today there and those here. I mean, I could also actually, I could change over. I might go for, yeah, I'll go for this one on this one today just to mix it up because I've, I've already got an Orion on. This is the Nebula ring with three sections and it's got the nebula climber so this nebula climber here goes up the ring and it's amazing again as an index so that is today and then for necklaces i'm gonna wear satin a lot of people ask me about the lengths the lengths sorry my, my lisp these days <laughs> i'm sure it's worse than ever but i'll get over it yeah the lengths on these this is the 14. i have quite a thin neck um, so this for me is quite a low choker um, like this. For those that have been asking, this is the 16, slightly longer. I have the 16 and the silver, see. So my neck is quite unusually slim actually. So on most people, this will likely be a bit higher up, but this on me is a 16, this on me is a 14, like that, just to give you an idea. So I'm just gonna wear that and then I'm gonna put on my Orion because it's my absolute fave. And I so I have my Orion pendant, so this is the Orion pendant, and then on, on the back you can have it personalised with your star sign. So mine is Cancer. And, 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 to make it even more wonderful, you can also add your birthstone charm, and mine is Ruby for July. Sorry, I didn't, didn't realise how long this would take me to show you this, but this is literally my everyday going through this jewellery box. And be like, what do I wear today? I mean, I feel very lucky the fact that I get to go through my entire jewellery collection to put it on. But I've been filming for 15 minutes. Sorry, guys. I just thought it'd be nice to show you because I feel like I've not really shown you my Edge of Ember collection in a little while. So I thought just in case you're interested. But how beautiful is that with a little ruby hanging on it? And I mean, if you also have a couple of children, for example, you could get a little birthstone for each of them and add it on. Or for your entire family or just for you or your husband or your partner, your wife anything yeah and i have it inside this little jewelry box here the stackers and i literally keep this entirely for my edge of my collection so i'm gonna get myself ready today also brand new perfume alert armani Privé have just launched cypress pantelleria pantelleria is an island i visited with armani they um mr armani has a home there it's very inspired by the scents and smells and ingredients on that island and therefore this has been very much inspired by that. I mentioned it last night on stories, this is why I kind of know the vibe of what I was feeling on it, but it has a really light, slightly citrusy and almost like an oceanic sea foam smell. It smells a bit like a really sexy man walking out of the sea, but it also has this smell of almost like an oceanic breeze blowing through the cypress trees. By the way, I didn't make that up. That's what that's what Armani wrote. But as soon as I as soon as I read that, I was like, that's exactly what it is. It's wonderful. Armani Privés are some of my absolute favourites. And strangely enough, this particular bottle of the Privé is a little more affordable than the others. I think it's because the other ones are made in marble, and this top here is always made in marble, so it costs a lot of money for them. Whereas this one is a little bit more affordable, but it's. Stunning, absolutely gorgeous. Um, right, I'm gonna kick off the day, get a little bit more moisture into my face. This is such an interesting product. I've started using this recently. I like to have it here next to my desk. This is the La Roche-Posay Hylou B5 Aqua Gel, SPF 30, but it literally looks like this really lightweight gel. As soon as you put it on, it's really, oh, so cooling and mm, so nice. It feels lovely, like so lovely and quite cooling. It's the kind of thing you could, um, if you're on holiday, you could put this in the fridge and then in the morning put it on your face and it would be like, hallelujah, but it also has SPF 30 in it, which is always wonderful to have inside of this. Right, bit of that on and I'm just gonna go really light today on my makeup, I think. I'm not gonna bore you with all of that because I've been talking for so long now. Oh yeah, I'll, I'm just gonna put on a bit of the Armani Prima. Colour Control Glow Moisturiser. This is what I'll use for something really, really light. 
This is just quite enhancing and glowy. I've got a little bit of work to do today, like organically. I want to film a couple of reels um, just to get ahead again because I've got, like I said, a couple of photo shoots this week that I will show you. I'm not going to have any time at home to shoot any content, so I want to get a bit of that done today. But the main thing we're doing is going to the PO box, which we haven't been to in a couple of weeks. And there's a couple of things there that I'm excited to pick up. So I'll be able to do a bit of a bit of an unboxing with you. Like, look how lovely that is, honestly. Just a little, little tiny enhancement, like barely anything. Barely anything there, just a little, little bit of complexion enhancement, a little bit of glow and an SPF 35. Let's just finish off this complexion while we're here. I'm gonna go in with my Code 8. Sorry, this is so dirty. I use this every day. Code 8. Um, Perfecting Concealer. This is an NW15. I currently, by the way, have a discount code for Code 8 if you are interested. Throw 15 and it'll get you 15% off the Code 8 site. And there are so many incredible products on there, honestly. I, I definitely have to mention it because it's just worth, so worth it. I also use NC10, a lot lighter. And sometimes I just like to put a little bit here on the very inner corners. Anywhere else I need. I mean, I'm quite tanned right now, so I don't need too much. But then I also love... N25 for me is a really fantastic contour shade. I actually don't need too much of this because I know how far this goes. Go a little bit down there. And then literally I just get my sponge. Oh, in fact, I have fresh brushes. Nothing better than some fresh brushes, is it? Um, yeah, and just blend this into the rest of my face and I'll be good to go. I'm getting there now, guys. I've just absolutely crunched my knee into my desk. I've <laughs> been howling the whole house down. That really hurt. Oh gosh, I love my Monday hair wash days. Nice fresh hair. I'm just gonna air wrap for my hair. By the way, guys, little tip with your hair. If you wash it and it's wet, try not to brush it if you can. If you do brush it, make sure you do it very incrementally so that you're not snagging because when your hair is wet and you brush through it, I'm sure you felt that sensation almost as if the hair is stretching. That is so bad for the hair. Honestly, try not to brush it too much when it's wet. Um, so the best tip I can give you, like years ago, my hair, I felt like my hair was falling out and breaking too much and everything and I stopped brushing it and the condition got so much better, I can't even tell you. Quick outfit of the day, you've likely already seen this if you follow me on Instagram because I just filmed it for a reel. I have just got on, like I showed you, all my age member pieces. I absolutely love this bodysuit, I need to wear it more. It's me, it's very low cut. I've just got it on with actually just my Le Gale Le Boys bra. I just quite like, quite like the double layering actually. These were such a great purchase, these pants. These linen trousers, such a great purchase. I've currently got socks on because I'm about to go to get the PO box stuff. And over top this gorgeous boxy linen, stunning texture. Little shirt over top, it's very very easy. And some below and then the, the belt just kind of cinches in the waist. Not that it's needed, I don't need this belt on at all, but it just adds a bit of extra uh, accessory. Okay, PO box picked up. We had a lot more actually than I realized we would have, but we're gonna do like a little show and tell in a minute, because I feel like I've not done, we've not done like a PO box unboxing for ages. Not we? for a few weeks. So, no, not for a few months, I reckon. Really? So we'll show you what we got, but we've also just been to Pret for a cheeky Pret. Babe, show it, show them what we've got. I'm not sure if these are new or not. Vegan meatless meatballs, which I'm pretty sure is new. No, I've never seen them in there brand before. Brand new that, never brand, seen brand, brand new that. Brand new that. Couple of eggs. Go couple of <laughs> so eggs. So random. I know, but I just like having a little bit of extra proteins. And kombucha. Don't know if, not many people like it. You're not a big, you're not a big fan no. of it, are you? No. I really good. It's meant to be good for your gut. I don't like texture in my drinks. Texture in your drinks. I That's it. I don't like orange juice with bits either. Ugh. Like bits, gross, no. So I'm not into it. You didn't show what I got. I did. You got meatless meatballs. No, I didn't. Did you not? I got a halloumi wrap. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So you sailed me down the river with the new thing. I thought you liked the meatballs. We could have half an hour if you wanted to. No. No. It's been a hot minute since we uh, since we sat and had food no. on camera, hasn't it? So okay. good. Is it good? Mm. I love this this wrap. Managed to full apple halloumi wrap. It also has like peppers in it. Mm, it's good. It's almost like a fajita wrap. Mm. Can I have a little bite? No. 
Because mm. a bite to you is you taking one of the three meatballs that's inside of it. Just like a half the meatball. No. Can I just eat my Can breath? I smell it then? Can no. I just, can, I, can I have a smell of what it smells <laughs> like? Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's a good smell. I'll let you have a little bit at the end. Okay. I just know what you like. You're like, just a little bite of me. Like, I'm not. Do you know what we should tell them about? How do you feel about your eyes since having the fillers? Good. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah, the difference has been big. What do you think? I think so. I mean, it's... You probably know better than me because you look at your eyes every single day in the mirror, but... I think I've definitely got used to it very quickly. Mm. I think the first few days I was like, whoa. Now it's like I just... Mm. I've just accepted it. Like, it's not something that's, like, majorly dramatic, but mm. it's definitely helped lighten them. Especially, and especially this, this one looks amazing. That was really bad, that I, and I think it's because the lump was above my... Oh, yeah, this was a really bad one. Yeah, yeah. That, that, I think that has gone really good, that now. Yeah. I think you could do the tiny, tiny bit more in that eye. But that's what Duncan said. He said you might need a bit more in this one, but that looks great now. It's really dispersed. You can tell it's dispersed the past few days. I know, I know. It's going to be interesting to see how long it lasts. I've read that it lasts like up to nine months. Wow. So. Yeah, I'll we'll just see what you think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, what do you think? Mm, that's gorgeous. Blue de chauffe. Blue de chauffe. Blue de chauffe. <laughs> it could be blue de chauffe. Mm. Yeah, these guys got in contact with me on Instagram and asked, could they send me a camera bug? And I've been following them for a while. And my stuff is just absolutely unbelievable. And with me downsizing my kit, I no longer need an absolutely giant camera bag anymore. So I wanted something quite stylish. The quality of it's insane. Actually. That is super stylish, isn't it? That insert as well. Wow. They put a free camera in it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Look at that camera strap. Wow. The quality of this is unreal. You can see the quality yeah. of this from here. Like an Hermes insert. Yeah, <laughs> but look at that though inside. I mean, it's, oh, it's lovely. It's actually really big. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a lot smaller, so I was a bit worried, like maybe it's going to be too small. But Are you happy? Yeah, really happy. It's very kind of them. Yeah, really, really kind of them. This is going to get a hell of a lot of use. I think I'm just going to store my camera gear in this as well, just instead of just having things lying around like I usually do. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. It's so stylish. Look at you with your man bag. I know. Joey. Are you referring to my man's bag? <laughs> this one has peanut butter bits stuck in his fur. <laughs> it's fake. Mwah. Mixed up peanut butter. He has completely stuck in his fur. Oh. But we'll say hi to everybody. Not been on camera for a little minute, have you? Hello, everyone. I'm Bobo. I am. Oh, there we go. Got the peanut butter out. Slowly. But surely. He's probably saving it for later. <laughs> He's the cutest. Hey. Mwah. Right then. Let's. Get crackalackin' hubbins. What do we have here? Oh, wow! How gorgeous, look! Tori Birch just sent me a lilac gym kit. This is stunning. I have these particular pair of leggings in navy and I've had them for years. And they're so comfortable. That little detailing on the leg of the stripes. How pretty, that is like the colour of the season. Thank you, Tory Birch. Who decides the colour of the season? Usually trend forecasters. Ooh! Okay, guys. I really is, hope this works. This is a really exciting one. Aircraft. They got in touch with me on Fro Home and said that they have, like, the best mopping system. Those black and white tiles are a pain. They look stunning, but to clean them, you've got to buff them by hand. Each, like, each tile needs buffing by hand. So when Aircraft mentioned to me, do you want to try our amazing mop? I was like, do you know what? Actually, I'm really intrigued because if this can work well on our tiles, then it definitely is the best. And it's cordless, hard floor cleaner. I mean, it's got good housekeeping institute approved. It looks like this, like this double. You need to and be doing that. Hi there, Billy Mays here with another fantastic product. Hi, Billy Mays here with another innovative tool. This year we're bringing Aircraft Power Glide Colorless Hard Floor Cleaner. This buffs, shines, and cleans your floor <laughs> in only 30 seconds flat. Good housekeeping gave it one star. No! <laughs> no approved! No. 2020! <laughs> no, what? One star! Um, anyway. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you press this little button so it's some water to come out. Ah, oh, you see Something that? Can you see 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 that? Can
out things like this. I'm just testing it on this first black tile. This is adorable. Look how adorable it is. I'm not sure adorable is the word, but. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Working away, buffing away, minding its own business. Okay, so then you take these off and then you can go in the washing machine, which is pretty great. And then you put on the buffing pass. Okay, okay. Then, we're gonna buff this bad boy, come on. That looks really good. That actually does look really good. Yeah, flipping it. I'm well we, impressed. I think we might have actually just found the tool bay that we've been needing. Good, because it's only taken us a year. Well, as long as we've had the tiles. This is fan flipping tastic. Yeah, that's really good. This is really well good. With that, actually. Hey, by the way, this, this isn't sponsored. This is just, um... Billy days. <laughs> this is just excitement at finding a mop that actually works on tiles. Yeah, that's quite a good thing to do into the, into the vlogs. Like, get, like, really random things for home stuff. Oh, and it's, it. no, do you know, that's like, um... I think he used to do that, Bunny. Uh, what's Ooh. she called? Graveyard Girl. She used to do, every week, she'd do a, um... As seen on screen, as seen on TV. Oh, okay. And she'd show... She'd show her using things like random ice cream makers and stuff. She, but That's people, actually a really good idea. But people loved it. People, what, what do we rate this out of 10? I mean, off, off that, 10, I mean, look off at the that. bat. Like look at that! 10 out of 10 aircraft, for the aircraft yeah, throw glider. 10. Yeah, that is flipping great. That's a throw and Do you know what? I'm, what I might do, I might do the entire floor later. Just because it's really good. Treat yourself. Treat myself. Three words for you. Treat yourself. Guys, I've mentioned a few times now about Blue Bella. Can we just get a petition going that Blue Bella have me as like an ambassador? Because I really want to be a lingerie ambassador. Do you, I just feel it would give me such a push to just like get my healthiest I've ever been. But you're working out every day. Though. I know, I know, but... You are the healthiest you've ever been right now. I, no, I feel, so, I feel so healthy, like in mind and body at the moment. I feel really great. But yeah, I am obs I'm obsessed with this brand. How much do I talk about this brand with the bras? Anyway, they sent me a couple of new bra ears. I've just been trying to work out my actual size because a couple of them weren't quite fitting me right. I think I might need my, my little boobs measured again. But these bras, and honestly guys, you will not believe the price. Like that, that black bra that I keep showing you with the gorgeous like ziggy zaggy bit on it. That's like 35 pounds. Unbelievable. This is, look at that. This white one is just stunning. It's got little tiny bits of icy blue on here. Can you see that? But look how beautiful this is. Like little, two little lilies just to cut, cut the little boobs. So there's this one. I'll leave these all linked down below, by the way, in case you are interested in some new bras. But the price tags, I just I can get over how much like women's underwear costs. Oh yeah, can do. Well, during my used to buy loads from Argent Provocateur, and I spend like a lot of money. Like it's about one hundred and fifty pound a bra at least from Argent Provocateur. Whereas these are the like even just as great quality and just as sexy, and I feel amazing in them. So thank you, Blue Bella. Super exciting. This came in. How stunning is that? That smell. I think it's lime and oh, lavender. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, they do it in a few different ones. It's handmade. Lime and lavender, essential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. How beautiful you is a, it? You get a lovely bowl as well when you're yeah, finished. Yeah, I know. So they asked me if I would like to try amazing. one of their candle bowls, and I've never seen anything like this. This will look amazing. This smells unbelievable. So this is lime and lavender. It smells like a pie, doesn't it? Oh, it does. Like a key lime pie, but with like a soft lavender finish to it. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. I'll link it down below, guys. It's a gorgeous little independent business. And they've just launched these candles. Thank you to Keep Candles, that is awesome. Been sent a new linen, of course. What else do I wear these days? Linen does it for me. <laughs> this is it. Look at, look at this blouse. So lovely, very romantic. Stunning cream linen brows. Love it! This is so me! Look at those sleeves! Oh, look at those sleeves with the little bits of like, like pleating and then lace work inserts and those little elasticated cuffs. I love this. I'll link it down below, guys. That is stunning. And, 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 and fabulous package from Hebe Studio. They're one of my favourite suit brands. I've got a couple of their suits. You'll know, you'll know which ones. I've got a green suit. Ooh, 
I've got a green suit with a mustard stripe on them, and I've got a blue suit from them, right. and I've got a black suit from them. Anyway, they have recently put out a new collection, and they've sent me a full navy moment. Look at this. Wow. With these, um, I wonder if I could put it on actually. Let me take off this. It's got like a massive belt to it and it's got padded shoulders too. Yeah. Okay, like you're a man of the cloth. <laughs> um, yeah, and then it's meant to pulled around and then like That's belted. Really nice. Isn't that gorgeous? But then, what does that? It comes with matching trousers. These are high waisted long, oh, wow. more of a wide leg fit. Imagine them with a gorgeous pair of nude heels with them. You might have those pants, those pants might taken out. But I'll be, I mean, I'll be in, yeah, I might have to have an inch off them. Mm. But how wonderful. Thank you so much, Hebe Studio. The Those shoulders. The quality is wonderful. I've always loved this brand since I oh, first <laughs> saw them. Oh, look, it's got a little pocket square. Sounds like a crepe, isn't it? Yes, look at that. <laughs> gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Oh, it fit, that fits like perfect on me doesn't it? That's really nice. Oh the back's cool too. Is it? Yeah. What, what, what? They're like drops and then just like a little... Oh little... a bit like like a tux at the back. Yeah. Oh nice. Oh thank you so much to Hebe Studio. This is beautiful. I'll leave it link guys so you can find it. But they have some stunning colours right now. There's peaches, there's lilacs, there's whites, there's creams. But I saw this navy and just thought this shape was just too incredible. Then we have a little goodie box from Aperol. Wait how do I get into this? Oh, yeah. That must be just to top off your apparel, but equally you could use that for so many things. Very nice. The goodies are down here. We've got soda water. <laughs> oh my good lord, let me turn it on. <laughs> I can wear this. Do you know bucket hats are in, babe? I could wear this whilst drinking my apparel. Roll sprit. That's a bit of cute. <laughs> okay. Soda waters. Aperol, Cinzano, Prosecco to go with it. Whenever we make an Aperol, I usually do like half Aperol, half Cinzano, and then that little topper of soda. Would you say the same? A bit of garnish it as well. Garnish it with your orange as well. So this will come in so handy, this box. If we were Josie, we would literally have about 15 plants planted in this by now. She's really good at that, isn't she? Josie? What could we use this for? Yeah. There'll, be, there'll be something we can use this for. We could, we could even paint it up in the green we want for the garden, yeah. line it, and you've got a plant pot. Ta-da! Thank you so much, Aperol. That's awesome. Do you know what? I really fancy Aperol now. Oh, and then last but not least. Okay, so for the garden, we are having, because we're having like a wall built, I wanted to have loads of LED lights in the ground, in front of the wall, almost like leading you along the edge of the wall. That's the idea. So I've ordered a load of lights from Iconic Lights. I'll leave them down below just in case you are looking because I spent a bit of time looking for the right sized ones. These also come in like the tiniest, tiniest size, these. And I was about to buy, yeah, I was about to buy loads of tiny ones and then realised they're all like four, four centimetres big and I'm like, that's so small. Imagine how small the bulbs would be. So I found these and I think these are going to be absolutely perfect. These would be great. These just get sunken into the ground like this obviously with your bulb. And then what we'll likely do is put a load of pebbles around it so that you can kind of see them and they look cool like this, but mainly so that they're kind of a bit hidden and you'll just see that kind of the lights will be coming up along the edge of the wall. So I think they'll be so great. I've also got 16 bulbs to go inside of these, but I think these are like the 15 centimeter ones this way and then they're about 10 centimeters this way. I just didn't want those little mini lights. I wanted the whole place to be like that. Oh great. Cool aren't they? Yeah they're perfect. Just like that and then I've got 16 bulbs to go in them. So I've got 16 of these. Wow. And then I've ordered a load of other lights, some Philips Hue lights that are going to go around the back border like in the trees and they'll be like pointing upwards towards the trees to light up all the trees. So it's going to be very lit the garden when it's done but it'll be, it's gonna be lit. It's going to be lit. One left. One left. Oh yay. Oh yay, this is amazing. I smelled this the other day on, a, on an event that I was on. The Jimmy Choo I Want You, I Want Chew perfume is gorgeous. Here I also have Coach Dreams Sunset, also magnificent. They are such fantastic perfumes. 
Like I did a full event where we went through loads of new perfume releases and I probably smelled about 30 perfumes and these were the two that I was like, they are something else. So these are amazing. Sorry guys, one last package I just found. It's come in this really sophisticated little box, which is such a nice little touch. This is from betterdaystudio.co.uk and they do a range of different like diaries and books and I'm pretty sure they do like a wellness planner and things like that. But one of the things that they sell is a recipe book from my kitchen recipe book and she's put V heart A at the bottom. And the idea of this book is that you can start writing down your like recipes that you do and I thought this would be so good for us babe because the amount of times that you put together amazing things and then forget and then you know and then we don't end up having that dish again and it was like phenomenal. So I thought this would just be wonderful. So at the beginning it's even got like a conversion chart and super handy things and no oh it's even got a recipe in here for no sugar no bake vegan brownie bites that sounds flipping great how sweet is that it's literally already got a recipe filled in but the rest are all just open pages so it's got um, what kind of meal it is, start to main side, ingredients list, how many people it serves, the prep time, the cooking time, the calories if you know it, what kind of food it is, tips and tricks, and then you can put down your method here. That is such a lovely idea for a book. So thank you very much to Better Day Studio for that because I genuinely think we'll use this so much. I have so many different little notepads and things where I've scribbled in a recipe idea and then they just go missing so the fact we've got this now babe from now on all recipes go in, in here I got it in blue as well with breath nice. to match nice the, kitchen. the kitchen it does <laughs> thank you to everyone that sent us a PR package this was a very very lovely unboxing <laughs> Morning guys, it is Tuesday morning. Today I'm on my way into London for a Dyson Facebook Live event. Like I said yesterday, I've never done a Facebook Live before. I've never done a live, I don't think. So I'm a little bit apprehensive about it, but I'm sure it'll all go well. Got myself ready. I've just used my Dyson Corel to create these very, it's most my simple like grungy toozled beach waves that I do most days. But the whole event is around the Corel and introducing the Corel to lots of new people who don't know how amazing it is and I'm kind of there as a guest to talk through how I use it, how I like to use it, some tips and tricks. And so they've asked me to come along with my usual like mermaid beachy waves so that's what I've done. I'm wearing a beautiful, really beautiful new shirt today. It's a shirt I showed yesterday in our unboxing video. In fact though I think I just need to quickly iron sleeves. It's annoying me a little bit. It looks a little creased so I'm gonna get that sorted. So I'm wearing that, my Fendi belt, my neutral beige linen trousers and I have my little Dior slingbacks as well in nude. So I'm completely neutral. They asked me for a neutral outfit and it's my, I'm very neutral these days anyway, so it's perfect for me. Obviously I've got my perfect nails. I've added my edge of ember earrings my satin necklace just very kind of somewhat minimal other jewelry so yes i'm ready i've just done a lateral flow test to ensure that i am covid free i also yesterday i had a healthcare professional come around and do a, a swab test as well so i am fully negative but obviously dyson needed to ensure that everyone was safe on the set and there's not going to be many people there either like alex can't come just to make sure there are minimal people there so it's been very very well handled and very professionally done so it's fantastic right i better get going you make seem so fabulous <laughs> so um currently ready it's half past five so we're now it's time we go live on, our, on the facebook live so i've got my makeup done my hair is ready we're just waiting here bernie's got a berry so oh and i had a crunchy and uh, yeah, we can go to this. So hopefully some of you um, joined and watched it live with us at the Bamba Club. Victoria is a um, fashion blogger and founder of In The Fro. Mm -hmm. Um, it's so nice to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It's so nice pleasure. to be here. So you've been using the crowd for quite a long time now. So what's the biggest difference that you've seen on your hair? I mean, there are so many differences. I think obviously I've got very bleached hair. Um, and so the condition of my hair is something that I care about a lot. 
So when I switched over to the Corral and started using this when it launched, honestly, it was such a game changer for me. Just allowing my hair just to not kind of fry too much at the ends, just to get that perfect style so easily, but maintaining that health was something that I really, really cared about. And honestly, it's just a perfect tool for that. What other shapes do you kind of like creating with the Corral? What else do you do with it? Oh gosh, so much. So not only do I use it as a styler, so today I got this very, this I do a lot, very toozled, a bit grungy, a bit undone and I did this obviously with the, the corral but at the same time if I'm doing like a really sleek straight look it's just so quick honestly I can do this look or a straight look in about 10 minutes if that do you ever switch it on the same day as well like, yeah like yeah sometimes I have to if I'm doing any shoots or you know different um photo shoots and different outfits and I change up my whole look how often do you use your straighteners and your curlers Okay, so I have a bit of a routine, I must admit. So I usually wash my hair once a week, just because it is so bleached, it is somewhat dry. So I don't need to wash it too much and I don't like to overwash it. So I will wash, I will half dry it with the Supersonic, then I will finish it off with the air wrap. So I get big kind of voluminous curls for the week. Yeah. And then about day two, day three, I'll go in with the corral and I'll add this Martuzel grungy look. And this then will see me through until day six, day seven. So actually, I'm only using it once a week. I get the style that I want, mm -hmm. but then in the start of the week, I get the more like voluminous, air-wrapped curls instead.